strong pitching. Bullpen comes in, holds it together. Uh, how do you see the Well, Ricky was pretty sloppy. I don't know, he probably missed more balls up in the zone today than he has the entire fall completely. Uh, and then you go and you look at the stats and you go, wait a minute, no walks and eight strikeouts, what are you talking about? And that's the sign that you got a chance to maybe have a real fight in that guy, and that's what we've been missing the last few years. Somebody who can win these games when he doesn't have his best stuff. A lot of guys can win four to three, three to two when they got their best stuff. Friday night guys find a way to get a when they don't have their best stuff. And if that's an indication of things to come, we got to look at it. Yeah, um, you know, go, making that call to go to Ricky, uh, obviously you have two lefties and stuff, maybe you want to split it up. With and stuff. What was the thought process in, in handing him the ball, knowing that, you know, last year's Friday night guy was still, still around too? Yeah, and, and Jimmy threw some Friday nights as a freshman too. You know, but uh, what Thomas went out and did this summer, uh, I didn't get to see it. But I got every scout in America calling me and saying, hey, you know what you got here? And so we have to hold him out all fall because he threw too many years over the summer. So I didn't get to really see it until January. And a couple weeks ago when we got into four innings, I, just, I got everybody away from me. I got a screen. I got right behind the catcher. And when the right handers were up, I sat this way. The left hand was up, I sat this way. Just trying to feel and see what these hitters are seeing. And after four innings, I came out and going, okay, now I see it. Uh, it's, I mean, Jimmy's, what do you see with Jimmy? A little different guy, too. But uh, this kid Thomas had a chance to be really special. Is it uh, a, lot, a lot of wicked movement and stuff we're talking about? Do you well, you know, what was tonight? Actually? Today, you know, he didn't have his fastball location. He was missing up in the zone a lot. Uh, you'll see that get cleaned up in mean, much more. He had one heck of a change today. That's, that was what he needed today. And he went and he found it through a couple of good breaking balls, too. Uh, but he pitches off his fastball. And that's what I'm talking about. You don't have your best stuff and your best pitch as, as your best thing today. And you still go in the rounds and it's right up to the two and get a chance. Hitting wise, you know, you got it done and stuff with you know, 12 left on. But it looked like there were times maybe the game slipping away, but the, the bullpen comes in and, you know, kind of closes it out. Yeah, we got some veterans out there in the bullpen. You bring in a senior and me and a senior and Horst. We still got Reese out there. He's a fourth year junior. So we've got some older guys out there. Williams, a fifth year senior. And those will be our main guys out of the pen. We've got some old guys out there finally, which is really nice for us. Uh, but you know, you can't get on these guys too much for what they do with their scoring position. That ball veers here was a stinking bullet, and the ball uh, Gabor hit the next inning. He backspun that ball to right center. That was a bullet too, and the right fielder made a heck of a catch. I mean, that's five runs right there uh, that that we didn't get because they played some great defense. So we've got to give them a little credit in those situations. And then Mac, when uh, we move the guy over to third with no outs. And Mac does exactly what he's supposed to do. The infield's back, and he hits a ground ball up the middle to get the RBI, and you know, freshman made a base run mistake. So what? That's what's going to happen when you're a freshman and you're learning this time of year. But don't forget that heck of a double play stayed in there on in war in the second inning or whatever that was, and got blown up and threw a perfect strike. And that great play made out in left center field and threw the guy out at first base. So I'm going to say we're about to have a hit tonight, too. Just one game, obviously, but. I kind of you know, get the sense that this was one you guys definitely want to have to start this off. Hey, man, getting the first one is always a big monkey off your back. It always feels fantastic. I think they'll come up tomorrow and they'll see how they're going to last. Um, but I'm excited to see Jimmy pitch. I mean, if you, you saw Jimmy pitch enough last year, that, I mean, how many games did he have a ball hit off a base or take a, a hit off a sprinkler or leave the game with a one run lead and the guy who came in behind him gave it up? and. You know, Jimmy is due some luck, uh, and not only is he going to be much better physically and stronger than he has been, but if you see some balls bounce his way this year, just, that's just the baseball guys that owe him. That's not luck. That's, that's, that's trying to get even. He had a really tough one last year, and you know, he's due for some breaks.